Okay, been a long time. Not done anything on YouTube for quite a while, so I thought I'd bring you along for this little project. This is the BSA Lightning XLSE GRT. Yeah, that's a mouthful. GRT gas ram technology. It's a brake barrel air rifle and it has an inbuilt suppressor which is this bit here but I can't do this single handed but you can also add another suppressor if you want to this makes it just a little bit more quiet to shoot I currently have the ATEC Wave. It's 22 caliber, but this is 177, so there's plenty of clearance, and it still works. So <clears throat> the barrel starts there, and on goes to about there, about halfway, because this tube covers it. So this works as the suppressor and it sort of goes back a bit here. So in actual fact the barrel length on this thing is only about, I think it's about 9, maximum 10 inches. But it shoots fantastic. It comes with, it's got a weaver rail. Um, for for our uh, scopes, but it comes supplied with this riser, and I don't know why, because that is attached to that, but the rail is the same size. Um, I tried to scope with and without it; it makes no difference. So I thought, well. It came with it, so I'll put it back on. And I've got a Hawk Vantage on there, which is 329 zoom, uh, 30 mil. I did some pellet testing of this the other day. And this were the results. The five shot groupings. About 10 meters. So this one was the tightest group next to this one. So the lightest pellet, 7 grain, and the heaviest pellet at 9.5. It's H&N Barracuda Light. RWS R10 match. So then after I did that, I did a 10. Uh, where is it? In here. No. No, I must have left at the range. I did a. Uh, grouping, 10 shot grouping at 25 meters and I got about 2 inch grouping at 25 meters so I'm, I'm quite happy with this but what I'm going to do I mounted, put sling mounts on it yesterday I'm actually going to take it apart going to sand this back and I'm going to give it a coat of true oil so yeah because I want to I, I want the um the wood to have a bit more protection and true oil is pretty good for that all right let's crack on 
Okay. Blessings first. Unloaded. Okay. Well, I put these on yesterday and now I need to take them off again. That's alright, I don't mind. One thing I am missing is the washers. I purchased these yesterday at a um, gun shop in London and I got them cheap because the white washers, plastic washers are missing. But that's okay. Also need to clean this up. Okay, next step, three screws to remove, one either side of the breech will get which go up in a diagonal, and then there's one at the back here which holds the trigger guard in place but also goes up into the mechanism itself. So as you can see just there, and there's one on the other side. So do those first. For some reason, BSA, um, instead of using Phillips head, they use uh, the star, star screws, I think this is it. No, that's too small. That's it. T twenty five. side I need to So 
this workshop is not ideal, that's because it's not a workshop, this is my bedroom. Unfortunately, I don't have much space where I live, so I have to make do. There we go. Last one, I've got to take this out. This is just in there. this quite tight when you do that sort of work so that it doesn't just drop out okay so the three screws are now removed so I can pop the mechanism out there you have it so I'm going to put this somewhere safe and I'll be right back. Ah, another thing, I've got to take the butt pad off. Um, it's one of the first things I did was actually trim that off there because it came out to a sharp point, sort of like that. And within five minutes of shooting it, um, I was getting a sore spot in the shoulder because that was actually quite, this rubber, but it's quite hard. So I just chopped that off. Um, yeah, Phillips head screwdrivers, uh, Phillips head screwdriver, I cannot find it. And in my little kit here, these are too short. Because in the holder, the width of that is wider than the hole. Thankfully, in this bit, this tool kit, I've got a long neck, so I can get to it. They never make things easy, why can't they just use the same screws throughout? I mean, I understand some screws are for metal, others are for wood. consistent Piece of black plastic which is between the rubber and the wood. I think that's actually been glued in place. That's fine, I can still work with it. Okay, so I've started with a sanding block, just something that's rough enough to actually give the finish some texture for the true oil to bite into. So I've just gone over it lightly, wipe it down, and when you're doing this make sure you wear some clothing that you don't mind getting dirty. Have the advantage obviously of having the old trigger unit here to compare to if I go really wrong, or if I completely mess up, hey I can always rebuild this one, but let's start. Great. I know a lot of people that carry this knife for pig hunts. And I, I 
totally understand that. If you run out of ammo or, or, or a bore charges you, I think this would be ideal. It has the clip point, which is very reminiscent of a fighting knife. It makes sense. Okay, so this knife, again, comes with a secure X sheath. But okay, so I'm applying this by hand. Sorry, I was wrong. Your attention on this is good. You just have Some of you might sure think that's kind of strange, but if you have worked with True Oil before, then you'll know why I'm doing this. They have this belt loop that comes up, and you can snap the knife in there, and of course, you can put it on your belt, and it has a snap, excellent knife. Now, if, like I said, you don't so, want to go a traditional K bar or a main knife, this will work in a can do multiple coats. Okay. That's the first coat done. So I'm just going to hang it here to dry. This is possibly the best dust free environment. Okay, three or four more coats to go. Okay, the first coat is dry. It's been hanging in the shower room now for a couple of hours. So what I'm going to do is give it a light sand and then give it its second coat I'm not sure if it's showing up there but see how it's a little bit stippled so what I do is by sanding it just a light sand and sort of smooth off the surface and then with each layer it'll just get smoother and smoother okay and also um, if you hear any bangs in the background it is New Year's Eve in about three hours so that's fireworks going off Okay, that'll do. So you've seen this in real time. I don't really want to do too much because then I'll be removing everything that I just put on. Good morning and Happy New Year. It is 11.20 a.m. on January the 1st, 2023. So, um, before I forget, I want to... This is the hole that you access um, through the trigger guard to get to the screw to uh, dismantle the, the air rifle. Problem is, I don't mind the shape. It's made of metal, so it's got some strength through it. 
problem is when I'm shooting trigger is there the finger is rubbing up against these two bits of metal with that hole in it and it's it's uncomfortable after doing a lot of shooting becomes painful so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some scrap leather I'm going to basically make a sleeve that covers that I'm going to dye it black so it blends in or if it looks okay it's brown I might leave it as brown I don't know um, so basically by having a sleeve there if I need to get to that screw I can just slide that forward which opens up the space for the screwdriver access and then when not in use slide it back over so that my finger is resting against a piece of uh, soft leather so yeah let's uh, crack on with that Right, I've marked out where the holes are going to go, I've got my thread, so now I have to punch these holes out so it's easy for the needle to get through. This is not going to line up because the holes are bigger than the mark. That doesn't matter. It's an indicator. Alright, I'll get back to you when I'm ready to sew. Okay, just had some troubles trying to focus. So there's a problem with autofocus and unfortunately on that setting it only has autofocus. Manual is on a different setting. Anyway, so I fed that through, put the initial stitch through like that. This one. Mm. 
Gotta be really careful here because this leather is actually quite thin. So if I yank it too tight here, I won't be able to find the holes going back. batteries on that camera shortly so I'll cut it here and I'll carry on with this and come back when I'm almost finished okay as promised I've sewn all the way down and I'm at the end I did have an issue just down here where the leather was that thin that when I went to tighten it it literally just cut through the leather so I had to skip a stitch I've been chatting to a friend of mine back in Australia, catching up. I haven't spoken to him for a few months. Where's the hole? There it is. So, I hope you all had a good New Year's Eve. And I do apologise for the lack of uploading of quality videos. Uh, I've just not been that enthusiastic about it recently. Okay, there's one there. That'll do. If it comes undone, I can always redo it. So, if need be, I can just slide it like that to gain access. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet this, roll it around so that this is on the inside. Okay, 
it's a wet hit and I'm rolling it around carefully and I'm wet forming it as best as I can with the leather being as thin as it is So doing is flattening that bit there, just so it doesn't protrude as much. Right, I'm going to put that aside and let it dry, and I'll show you later what it looks like. try to take the shot, only to find the trigger is locked. Not a bad thing, just a personal preference thing. That stop is stippled for grip in all the right places, making this quite suitable for a spot of pest control, as well as target work. I hope that zoomed in correctly. All right. Now, remember how I said that um, the washers were missing from the sling attachment? Well, what I've done is I, I've made them out of leather. So I've got a piece of leather, cut a bit off, hole punched the correct diameter, screwed them on, and now it's just a matter of trimming the excess. So let's turn it, blow it up against the metal. There you go. Job done. Okay, good morning. It is January 2nd. Okay. I did a total of four coats with sanding between each coat. And I let this fully set overnight. Um, yeah, trust you to start beeping once I'm recording. Okay. <clears throat> so now, time to reassemble.
Don Keogh star, I can't remember now. <coughs> star. Still to put the tree guard on. Just gonna flip this over. Okay, she's finished. Something happened that I was kind of half expecting. The join of this was actually partially obstructing the trigger. You can see how close it is. So I've had to turn this sideways and then what I'll do is I'll re-wet it and reform it. But there it works fine. There you go. Instead of mounting the front sling mount here I actually opted to go forward because the thickness of the wood it's quite thick right there and the thread does not come through the other side There you have it guys, BSA Lightning XLSE GRT, uh, off to the gun range this afternoon, do some reciting, make sure that's still true, but basically that's it, if you followed right through to the end, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.